Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'd first like to thank anyone who left me a comment and gave me feedback about the previous video that I posted with yoga stretches that can be done seated on a chair. I also got quite a few requests for more such videos. So here is the next one. And in this video, I'll be focusing more on the shoulders. Now, the shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint and a lot of pain uh, results from inflammation because there is not enough space or traction created in this joint. So to explain it further, this bone right here, the upper arm, rests into the socket and sometimes grinds the inside wall of the socket and that creates pain. Now what we want to do is create a little bit of space create traction so that it can move freely inside the socket and that will reduce and release some of the tension. All right, so we will be doing that. And then it is also important to create strength in the muscles around this area so that we stabilize the shoulders. So we'll be uh, doing some of those exercises as well. Now, very quick note before we begin, if you have had a recent surgery or you feel any pain or aches while performing these exercises or you have any other medical concerns, please visit and consult a doctor before starting any new exercise and before trying out these exercises as well all right great I'll be putting the link to my previous video in the description box below please do have a look at that because I will not be repeating those exercises in this video so you can combine both all right so let's begin by finding a comfortable seated position on the chair so you want to make sure that your feet are nice and stable that your spine is nice and straight and the shoulders are relaxed we're going to begin by stretching out the neck because of course tension in the neck uh, can lead to tension in the shoulders because it is all related all right good so first of all i'm going to stabilize my trunk so create a straight spine and keep this nice and stable and now i'm going to start to look over my right shoulder and then look over the left shoulder going only as far as is comfortable so i'm not pushing over the edge and i'm just noticing where i'm reaching without straining the rest of the body stays stable so just do that a few times and then we're going to move on to the next stretch. For the next stretch, I'm going to lift my right arm and bend into the elbow and the fingertips will come and rest just over the left ear. Now, I'm not going to pull or push in any way at all. What I'm going to do is allow gravity to do its job. So sitting up nice and straight, I'm going to allow my elbow to drop down with gravity and pull both my shoulders down. So I'm not elevating my shoulders, I'm letting them rest and gravity pulls the elbow and at the same time my head tilts towards the right because my hand is um, support, uh, guiding my head towards the right. should already feel a stretch in the side of the neck. To uh, get a little more sensation, you can lift the left arm up and adjust the height depending on where you feel more sensation. And just stay here, stay present with what you're feeling. Let the elbow drop without any resistance, without pulling, and then release. And we're going to move on to the other side. So same thing, left fingertips this time, rest right over the right ear, and then guide the left ear towards your left shoulder by allowing the elbow to drop. Extend the right arm if you want a little more sensation. Make sure both the shoulders are down and breathe feel that stretch in the right side of the neck take a couple of breaths here and then release all right great now we're going to move on to what i spoke about creating a little more space in the shoulder joint before we move to the strengthening exercises now for this uh, i will first show one variation that is standing uh, and if that is not accessible to you or that is not comfortable for you, I will be showing uh, a modified version of the same thing, seated, all right? So just skip this if uh, you're not comfortable standing up. Now, what I'm going to do is first, 
stabilize myself. So bring some distance in between the feet, soft bend in the knees. I'm going to lean forward, grab onto a chair for support or a wall. I will be showing it against the wall as well. Now, lower belly is slightly engaged so that the lower back is supported. And I'm going to let my arm dangle. Okay, so let gravity pull the arm down. So this protracts the shoulders. It makes space between the shoulder blades. And I'm just letting it dangle here and then I'm going to make circles with the arm. So imagine drawing a circle on the floor with your fingers and then a circle in the opposite direction. Reverse that circle. So this already creates some traction in that joint. Now if this feels um, quite good already you can stick to this or you can add some weight adding a little bit of weight just helps to relieve a little more tension but only do it if you're comfortable now I don't have any dumbbells if you're like me you can use a little bottle of water this is a 500 ml but you can go uh, a bit heavier if it's okay for you now if you're using a bottle of water please fill it up nice and fully so that the water doesn't move when you're moving because that creates imbalance make sure you close it properly and then i'm going to hold this bottle in my hand and do the same thing soft bend in the knees lower belly is engaged and i'm making those circles so i'm really allowing any resistance to melt away and let gravity pull the arm down okay now if you want to go a little higher, find something in the house that is a little bit heavier. You literally can find so many things in the house to help you out. This is a detergent bottle. It's one liter, so it has a handle. So this makes it a little more easier. So I'm going to show it to you against the wall. So support yourself, soft bent in the knees, let the arm dangle and create those circles. All right, so same thing, I'm allowing space inside the joint one direction and then reverse fantastic so do this a few times you should already feel pretty good in the shoulders you should feel a release of tension already now if you want to do this seated you're going to grab onto a cushion place it on your thighs just to support your upper body and then you're going to fold over. You can place two cushions if you need to and let the arms dangle. Same thing, you're just allowing gravity to pull the arms down and you can make those circles. This too should feel pretty good in the shoulders. Now depending on what you find more comfortable, you're going to do that either standing or seated. Once we've created that space, it is now time to create a little bit more of awareness in the uh, shoulder, in the shoulder. So in the shoulder blades, as well as in the muscles that help to stabilize the shoulders. Now for that, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out the arms forward, thumbs facing up, all right? My, sh my shoulders are not up to my ears as yet, just relax the shoulders. Now from here, I'm going to pull my arms back and then reach my fingertips forward. It's not my neck moving. My neck is in line with my spine. My spine is straight. So pull and away. And while I'm doing this, I can feel those muscles here working and activating when I pull and when I'm protracting, creating space between the shoulder blades, I feel a nice stretch there. Retract, feel those active muscles and pull. All right, good. Next one you're going to do is lift and lower. Lift and lower. Same thing, when I'm pulling my shoulders down, I feel activation in the muscles. Lift the shoulder blades. Pull them down towards the base of the spine. And then you can go on and make circles like wheels of a train. Back, down, forward and up. Back, down, forward and up. And you can reverse that circle. You should already start to become more aware of those muscles working to stabilize your shoulders. All right, do this a few times and now we're going to move on to another um, exercise. Now, it's the same concept. You want to be aware of what you're doing. We're not just moving um, without any awareness, right? So for this, 
I'm going to bring my arms in a 90 degree angle at my elbows. I'm going to reach my arms up as I inhale. And as I exhale, I'm going to cactus my arms. So 90 degrees in the elbows. And when I'm doing that, I'm pulling my shoulder blades down the back. Inhale up, exhale down. I'm going to show you uh, how it looks from the back so that you can have a better idea. Now, what I'm doing is that I'm pulling my shoulder blades, these two bones here, in and down. So activating the muscles to pull the shoulder blades in and down, all right? Inhale to lift, exhale, bend the elbows. So like you can probably see here, my shoulder blades are coming in and down. Inhale, elevate the shoulder blades, exhale, in and down, activating the muscles. Good. You can do this a few times and then we will move on to another exercise. Now, our shoulders can internally rotate and externally rotate, this movement. And um, strengthening the rotator cuff muscles helps this movement to happen more with ease. So we're going to strengthen those muscles. For this, I'm just going to ask you to get a small towel and roll it up, nothing too thick. So you can pause the video, go grab onto a small towel, all right? Now why I'm using a towel is that we're going to do this movement, all right? Internally and externally rotating the shoulder. And what happens is this sometimes. The elbow tends to fly up. And that just makes the, the exercise not as effective, okay? So roll that towel up, place it under your armpit. So what you're going to do is that you're going to hold on to this towel by pulling the elbow towards your body, okay? Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Make a fist, so I'm not straining my fingers in any way, just making a fist as if I was pulling an elastic band, okay? We're going to imagine that. Now I'm going to pull the elastic band from that wall towards this side, and then I'm going to externally rotate the shoulder. Even if you read just here, that's fine. Go only as far as it feels comfortable, comfortable to you. Once again, be aware of that activation of the muscles helping you to do this movement. In and out. In and out. Stay aware of where you're feeling that activation. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Your spine is nice and straight. And keep going here. All right? Beautiful. So do this a few times. And then what you can do is you can stop wherever you're reaching in the ex external rotation. And then make a few pulses to activate those muscles a little more. So it would look this way. So I'm here and I'm just going to make a few pulses here, activating those muscles to help me externally rotate my shoulder. Great. Now once we've done this, we're going to move on to some stretches that uh, can help to free up the shoulders a little more. All right. Now, uh, what happens a lot is that the shoulders hunch forward because our chest muscles are super tight. All right, so what we want to do is we want to stretch out the pectorals, the muscles in our chest, to open up through the chest and pull the shoulders back. All right, so we're going to do that together now. Now for this, I'm going to readjust my chair, excuse me for that. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the, back, the head and just let the head rest into your palms. Elbows are nice and wide, chest is open, lower belly is engaged, and you're nice and stable on your chair, all right? So I'm going to lift my heart. I'm not overarching my back or cranking my neck. I'm allowing my hands to support the back of my head, but I'm opening up through the heart space, through the collarbones, through the chest. With the exhale, I'm going to draw the elbows in, tuck my chin in slightly toward my chest. I'm not pulling my head. I'm just bringing the elbows in. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale. In. Do that a few times. Open through the heart. Open through the chest. Elbows nice and wide. Shoulders away from the ears. And in. All right. Great. 
Once you've done this a few times, you should already feel quite a nice stretch in the front of the body. Another way to do this is to interlace the fingers behind your back, pull the shoulders. So if you're here, what you want to do is pull the shoulders back, expand through the chest and then reach the hands back. If this is not accessible to you, you're going to use a towel again or a belt. Hold on to that towel like this and pull it away from you. You can even do this standing and this should feel very, very good in the chest. So you're pulling the elbow, the shoulders back, expanding through the chest, still keeping that engagement in the lower belly. Good job. Great, so we have stretched out the front of our chest and we're going to do one last stretch, which is called the Eagle Arms, Garuda, it's Garudasan Arms, all right? Now, if this feels like too much, don't worry, I have a modified version for you. We're going to begin by extending the right arm across the chest and bringing the left arm over the top. Now, you want to cross the arms as close as you can to your body and then wrap the arms around one another. So the top arm comes away and around. All right, if this is too much for you, don't worry. Once you've crossed the arms, you're just going to hug your shoulders. The elbows will be stacked. Now, if you're here, lift the elbows and pull the elbows away from you. This creates a nice stretch in the backs of the shoulders, all right? So stay here. Make sure the neck is aligned with your spine and you're not here. And for those of you who have uh, eagle arms, notice your shoulders. Pull the shoulders back. Same thing, pull the elbows away and lift to feel more stretch in the backs of the shoulders. Even if your palms don't reach together, don't worry, you can be somewhere here. You're still getting the stretch, all right? Hold this for a few breaths and then slowly release. Okay, and we're going to do this on the other side. Left arm forward, right arm on top of it, as close as you can to the chest. First variation, hug your shoulders, pull the elbows away from you and lift. Keep the neck in line with your spine. Second variation, wrap the arms around one another, pull the elbows away, lift the fingertips high towards the sky and feel that stretch in between the shoulder blades. And then slowly release whenever you're done. And you can do some shoulder rolls, just release any tension that you might be feeling. Great, so I hope that this was useful and interesting. Please do let me know how you feel. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Please share this with anyone you think could benefit from it. And like I said, if you feel any pain or discomfort, please just stop and consult a doctor before you can start your exercise again. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can get to see more of such videos. Thank you for watching.